come one Blue Jays way in Toronto. Welcome to Rogers Center. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Tampa Bay Rays and the Toronto Blue Jays. First pitch coming your way next. 2022 Toronto Blue Jays. All right, ready to get underway. Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Brandon Lau. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Here's Wander Franco. Bounced up the middle. To first, but it pulls him off the bag. Here is Austin Meadows. The pitch. Foul ball there. Well, the Blue Jays have seemed to go all in on players with MLB dads. What about those advantages, guys that have been around the clubhouse a lot? They are not afraid. Being in an intense game, 40,000, 50,000 people screaming. That's like being in the backyard for these guys that have grown up with the big league dad coming to the ballpark all the time. So they're very comfortable in this environment. Lau over at second. Bronco at first with no outs. Soft contact in the air and a base hit. Right past his coach headed for the plate. The throws offline. He's safe. And it's 1-0. Mission accomplished there as he picks up the RBI to give him the lead. He kind of muscled that one out there. Didn't get the barrel with it, but the important part was that he found a way to stay through the baseball and just drop it in the center field. Next offering is in for a strike. The next pitch misses. The count now two and two. Kicks and fires. Good eye right there. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. And a swing and a miss. And now one away. And now the hitter, G-Man Choi. One, two now. Line drive, and that's a base hitter to right. Franco on his way home. He scores, and they lead by two. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. Put a very nice swing on that pitch right there. Got one to drive and just kept it fair down that right field line and into the corner. And it's almost impossible to track those down as an outfielder. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. You know, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. And it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some. That's a base hit as a run scores. Well done. Drives in the run. Really protected with two strikes right there. Pitch wasn't even close, but man, he got the barrel to it somehow. Nice job of bad ball hitting. Manuel Margot up to the plate. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't Runner. nibble. Runners on the move. On the ground, right side, and that's a base hit. So Margot is aboard. Run comes in from second, and it's 4 nothing. That's three singles in a row. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Here's Mike Zanino. And one and two. Well, it's not the inning he was planning on to begin this start, but you've got to find a way to shake things off and give your team some length and put up some zeros. And he chases that one. And there's two away. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. Pretty amazing going way back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. Next offering misses. And that's ball three. Left-hand hitter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Base hit as he pulls up short. Runner in from third to extend their lead. It's 5-0. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Bottom of the 
first. And the batter is George Springer. Here's a 1-1. They say you win. I'm sure he likes the 5-0 lead and the run support, but he's sat around a lot since warming up in the pen, and you'd hate to see a guy not have his rhythm to go out there and have a great start. Springer swings through that one. It's a strikeout. One gone here. Bo Bichette up to the dish. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. And a ball count. evens the count. 2-2. Two -two. Fly ball to right. Margot coming on. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. Two up, two down. Two outs, base is empty. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. next up for the Blue Jays. Two down, nobody on. That one fouled off, two and two. Swings here and blasts one left field. Way back there. And out of here. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. goes deep. And they're chipping away. It's 5-1. Two outs, nobody on. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. This ball is hammered deep center field. Way back there. On its way. Out of here. Teoscar Hernandez hits one out. And they close the gap. It's 5-2. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. The wind of the pitch. In the air, right field. Margot settles underneath it. And that is that. now in Toronto leading off Brandon Lau well after putting up a nice inning on offense got some runs across this is where you look for the starter to go out there have a shutdown inning don't give that other team any hope uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning get the bats back up there while they're hot towards first Guerrero steps on the bag and quickly one away in the second now batting, now batting Wander Franco Next offering is in for a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. One down, base is empty. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. Up the middle, and a base hit right there. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now it's Austin Meadows. Franco, the base runner at first with one out. Next pitch just misses. Three and two now. Barrios a check to first, no, and he just got his hand in there. At the belt and fires. And down on strikes he goes, two down. Man at first, now it's Randy Rosarena. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Next offering is in for a strike. 
Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. This one squared up down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone. It's fair, and it is gone. Randy Rosarena bless one out, and they add a couple more. It's 7 2. New pitcher now for the Jays, Ross Stripling. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. And now G-Man Choi, one for one with a single and a run scored so far. Next pitch is outside. Two outs. And a big swing and a miss. The wind of the pitch. In the air, out towards left center. And that's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Back-to-back -back base hits. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball off. That pitch was off the plate. So tough to get the barrel to anything in there. Yandy Diaz now. Next pitch has popped up. And that's the inning. Back here at Rogers Center, we head to the bottom of the second. Now it's Matt Chapman. Next one off the plate inside. Two balls and a strike. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the first out. And now for the Jays, Alejandro Kirk. A wind in the pitch. Line drive. Knocks it down. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Just a little roller to the pull side, definitely out in front of the pitch away, but it wasn't one the defense could make a play on. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Ground ball left side could be two. The throw to second is offline. So after the error, it's runners at first and second. Danny Jansen getting ready to hit. And the 3-1. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And here's a 3-2. Fouled off again, and it remains 3-2. and two. Three, 2 Swing and a ball lifted left field. Puts the squeeze on it, and there's two away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. So two down now, and here is George Springer. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. The pitch. And it's fouled away. Two on, two outs. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Back here at the ballpark, top half of the third inning. Here's Manuel Margot. And the pitch. And there's a foul ball. One two to Margot. Margot started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and he held back, according to Dave Lawrence. 
Next pitch misses inside. Counts full three and two. Foul ball. Right hander kicks deals. This one drilled to left. No doubt about it as they add on more. Gone. He sends it out of here, and they add to their lead. It's 8-2. So up next, Mike Zunino. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes, and one gone. Here's Kiermaier now. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Next offering popped in the air, right field. He's got it, and there's two away. Lefties can definitely be a little pull happy up there, especially with pitches that they see pretty well. That was a good example. He hooked an outside pitch, hit that ball in the air to right, just not with much authority. Here's a 1 1. And that one upstairs. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. And here it comes on the ground right side. Fires over to Guerrero. Third out, and that ends the frame. Bottom of the inning, and now for the Jays, Bo Bichette. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. This guy has turned into a beast. Got him looking. Down on strikes, and he knew it. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Teoscar Hernandez. And how about that? It's an immaculate inning. Welcome back. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Wander Franco. The pitch. Now fly ball to right center. Springer puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Austin Meadows now. now the designated hitter. Austin Meadows. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next pitch is outside. And the righty deals stays alive and a foul ball good battle here about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat base hit left center field just one of those at bats you almost hate to see come to an end nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line you know hitters they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field and it doesn't always translate into the game but right there it did and he did it perfectly you know the batter now randy or rosarena out front and foul to the left side And 
And the pitch. In the air, right field. Hernandez in position. Two away down. G-Man Choi next to hit for the Rays. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. And a pitch. And misses inside. And a pitch. And a 2-1 hammered but foul. In the air, right field. Hernandez under it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Bottom four, here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And that one is out of here. Lourdes Goriel Jr. goes yard, and they cut into the deficit. It's 8-3. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. And here is Matt Chapman. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Next offering is in for a strike. Here comes a pitch. On the ground to third. Zips it across. One out in the bottom of the fourth. Next is the designated hitter, Alejandro Kirk. The designated hitter. The next offering misses, and the count's full. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Swing, and a ball popped up, and no one could get to it. It's a foul ball. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. And a foul ball. Three balls, two strikes the count. Fouled off left side. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. And that's ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make the call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. And he deals. Fastball almost got him there. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Double play ball to second, and that chance handled. To Franco for one, throw to first, safe. Man at first, Danny Jansen to hit here. The 1-1. One, one. That's towards center. Kiermaier under it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. And welcome back. And now, Yandy Diaz. 1-2 now. Good eye right there. I got to count two and two. Swing and a bouncer. Tosses across oh. the first. One up, one down. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. So digging in, Manuel Margot. He's already homered in this game. 
Scouts to the right. Espinal picks it up. And the first two set down to the top of the fifth. And now the catcher for the Rays, Mike Zunino. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Right-handed reliever. And that's downstairs and outside. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the center fielder, George Springer. In the air, fairly deep to right field. That one hops against the fence. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Bo Bichette next up for the Blue Jays. In the air, out towards right center. Kiermaier heading to the alley. Puts the squeeze on that one. Runner tags up for third. In there safely. Was able to move the runner up to third on that deep fly to center, but I think this point, he wants to get him over and get him in. Kicks and deals. And that one off the outside edge. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Swings and misses. That is strike two. Well, that's today's style of baseball right there, right? Big time velo on the bump and big time pop at the plate. Oh, wow. nice play. Fires to first, and they get the out. And next for Toronto, Teoscar Hernandez. The pitch. Fought off foul. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That ends the frame. Back here at Rogers Center. And now the center fielder, Kevin Kiermeyer. Righty delivers. There's a swing and a miss. And down on strikes. And one out now. Lau at the plate. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. The why to kick the pitch. Just missed. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah, a little slider action. Hard hit, left side. Throws across the diamond. Lau out on the play. Two outs, base is empty. Wander Franco next to hit for the Rays. The pitch. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Bichette whips it to first. Out number three. They go to the bullpen. Ryan Thompson. And he'll work on holding this lead. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings. And you need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Back here at the ballpark, here's Guriel. The Jays in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. to the plate 
And the slider just misses. Really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit-by-pitch to lead off the inning. Well, the bright side is that that will help the on-base percentage a little bit, and that's a category no batter can ignore these days. OBP, OPS, well, maybe that'll ease the pain just a little bit. Tapped out in front of the plate. Zunino tossed the second over to first, safe. Now it's the Toronto designated hitter, Alejandro Kirk. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. To third, might be two. Quickly to second for one. And it's a double play to end the inning. bullpen for the Jays Julian Merriweather and this guy can bring it velocity wise back now in Toronto top of inning number seven now up for Tampa Bay Austin Meadows Next one misses, and it's two and one. Left hand batter waits. That misses, and that's ball three. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Payoff pitch. And there's ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Randy Arozarena for the fourth time tonight. And a count one and two. Ball down the line. Guriel handles the chance. They get the out on a Rosarena. One away. G-Man Choi next to hit for the Rays. The first baseman. G-Man Choi. Next pitch is inside. Two and one. And a swing and a miss. I had to count two and two. Meadows over at first with one away. The next pitch three misses. Two. Three and two down. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Yandy Diaz next to hit for the Rays. Next offering is down low, and it's two and one. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Guerrero makes the catch, and that'll do it. Welcome back. And now it's going to be Santiago Espinal. And the pitch. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Kiermaier makes the catch. And a quick out, number one. 
Now it's Jansen in the head. The catcher, number nine, Danny Jansen. Kicks and fires. Lifted in the air, right center field. Margot has this one sized up. And there's two down. Here's George Springer. Center fielder, number four, George Springer. One one now. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. The one two. Right side. And that's just foul. The pitch. And a foul ball. Got him. Inning over. And welcome back. New inning getting started. And now the right fielder, Manuel Margot. Smoked on the ground a second. A great play deep in the hole. Mike Zunino next to hit for the Rays. And the right hater deals. That one missed. And here it comes. Smash to the left side. It's in and out of his glove. He doesn't have a throw, and they come away without an out. Runner on at first with one gone. Kevin Kiermeyer next to hit for the Rays. Three and two now. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. That's out number two. So two down now. And here is Brandon Lau. He has, as they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing. And thunder in that bat. And that one wrapped foul. And a payoff pitch. And ball four to a board. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. Zunino, the lead runner out at second. Lau on at first with two down. In the air, right field. Pretty well struck. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now on the mound for the Rays, Matt Whistler. Out of the bottom of the eighth, here's the shortstop at the play, Bo Bichette. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Hit on the ground to the right side. Choi takes it himself, and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Deceptive slider right there, stayed in the tunnel a long time, got that hitter out front, rolled over it, put it on the ground. And the righty deals. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. And a pitch. Liner caught it second. Teoscar Hernandez next up for the Blue Jays. Right-hander kicks deals. 
A little out front there as he swings through it. At the belt and fires. Stays alive. Two outs. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Three up, three down, inning over. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Ryan Barucki. Number 56. Back here at Rogers Center. Now it's the DH, Austin Meadows. Line and caught at third by Chapman. The Gold Glover makes the play. And here is Randy Arozarena. He's already homered here in this one. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Jansen Fields fires to first. Out. Two away now after the drop third strike. Well, he made it look easy, but I can tell you that was not a favorable matchup. G-Man Choi digs in now. The 1-1. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Two down, nobody on. Two balls, two strikes. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Chapman makes the catch, and that'll do it. now in Toronto. Bottom nine. Now at the plate, Lourdes Goriel Jr. Right-handed reliever. And there's a ball. Two balls, one strike. Swings and misses. Slider right there. Here comes a pitch. Liner snagged at first. Here's Matt Chapman. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. And a pitch. And down on strikes he goes. Blue Jays have just one out left here. Stepping in, Alejandro Kirk. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the dive. Ouch, that one got him. He seems to have lost a little bit of focus on executing that pitch right there, not staying through the target, and clearly not the release point he wanted. So up next, Santiago Espinal. The one-two. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. Here's the 2-2. This to center field. Kiermaier gets under it. And that is the ball game. Well, this team was ready from the first pitch of the ball game. Swinging the bats, scoring runs, just very aggressive. I feel like they set the tone, and that tone created a momentum that took them all the way to the finish line. Nice win today. And our final here today, 8-4 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long. Final line score for our ball game tonight.